Hello guys, welcome to Data Wells World. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to develop code for helmet detection and how to collect the data set for this project. First, we go to data collection bot. Go to the browser. Hello guys, welcome to Data Wells World. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to develop code for helmet detection and how to collect the data set for this project. First, we go to the data collection bot. Go to browser and just type a person riding with a helmet image. I go to image and then I choose this image and right click save image. Click save image as and then um, I save in um, desktop and then click save. The image is download. Okay, now the image was downloaded. Um, I open the image. And then edit it. Click edit and crop the image only the helmet part because um, we detect uh, the helmet only, so that's one is required. Okay, save it. Okay, now uh, we create a folder for helmet detection project. Uh, um, name it helmet detection. And then inside that helmet detection folder, uh, we create a folder data set. And then inside that folder, we created two folder for without helmet and with helmet. Uh, with helmet folder, previously we crop the image and copy and paste that image in this folder. And then without helmet, uh, um, Wait, I show my helmet detection project data set. Um, yeah, with helmet folder images look like this. Uh, we you collect the data set like uh, this. Um, nearly thousand images uh, you collect for this project. And then uh, we use only uh, one type of helmet. Don't use one type of helmet images. Please uh, collect the different type of helmet images uh, uh, because uh, we use different type of different type of helmet. Uh, so it easily detect the helmet. Um, okay, uh, you collect this images like this. And then without helmet folder. Look like this. Okay, important point of this data collection is definitely there should be 1000 to 2000 images in with helmet folder and without helmet folder. These are all about data set collection and then we move to the coding part. Before that, we done some installation project. First, we create a mutual environment for this project. Now, I open the Anaconda prompt. Um, and then uh, for creating virtual environment, type Conda create space hyphen n and uh, give name for the virtual environment. Um, I give AIML3 and then space pip python equal to 3.8 uh, version of the python and click enter. Uh, in this virtual environment, the python was downloaded. And then uh, 
they installed Jupyter Notebook for a uh, open uh, Jupyter Notebook. If they install Jupyter and then click enter. Install Jupyter, click enter. I download the Jupyter Notebook. I already created a virtual environment for this project. So I opened the project using Active TensorFlow 3 and then CD space, uh, copy paste the file location of a helmet detection project and then enter uh, and then type Jupyter Notebook. Uh, it's open the Jupyter Notebook. This one, uh, first of all, um, go, to, go, go to the coding part. We have some required library and install it in our virtual environment. The required libraries are TensorFlow, OpenCV, Python, Matplot library, NumPy, Immutal, Scikit-learn. These are the required libraries. You install using pip install. And then very important one is exclamatory symbol because it is Jupyter Notebook. It causes an error without exclamatory symbol. Now we move to the coding part. First, in this coding part, there are two coding files. First one is train the helmet detector, and then another one is train the helmet detector with the detect the helmet in video. First uh, step is uh, we run the train helmet detector and then move to detect the helmet video part. I open the train helmet detector. In this um, train helmet uh, first import the required libraries. As usual, I Say before, um, say I said before, um, uh, TensorFlow, NumPy, Natplot library, etc. Uh, and then, um, the uses of this libraries are TensorFlow library, uh, is for um, image processing. And then, uh, I used a pre time model that is a mobile net V2 architecture. It is used to build a deep training uh it is used to build a deep learning model for image classification and then image data generator image data generator class for um uh, from keras it is used to generate uh, augmented images for training the model and other function keras um, in keras are used to build the model layer compile the model with an optimizer and train the model on the data set and then scikit learn sql learn for label uh, binarization and train or um, test uh, set splitting of data set and then immutal library is for uh, loading and processing image data and then as usual, we initialize the initial learning rate, number of epochs and the patch size. And then um, add file location of our data set and then create an empty list of data and labels. And using for loop, we load the images. We load the images and resize it to a target size of 224 into 224 pixels and then image to array function convert the image to a numpy array and pre-process the input function is for pre-process the image which applies some normalization and transformation to the image then append the pre-process image data to the data list and category label to the label list the data, the data list um, will contain a list of numpy array each representing an image in the data set and label list will contain the corresponding category labels for each image and then perform one hot encoding one hot encoding in this um, label binarization object called lb uh, lb dot fit transform perform one hot encoding um, on the label list, this convert the list of category label into a binary matrix where each row represents an image and each column represents a category and two categorical of labels is convert the binary matrix to a um, categorical matrix. It converts the data label list on uh, NumPy array uh, Data label list numpy uh, list of numpy array to flow uh, data type of float 
32 and then split the training and test set. Test size is equal to 0 0.20 is and uh, this uh, indicate on uh, the test size proportion rate is 20 percent and then stratify parameter is uh, ensure that the distribution of category is the same in both the training and test sets and then the random state parameter ensure that same split is obtained each time the code is run uh, and then we move to the image data generator in this image data generator we, we perform um, rotation and then uh, zooming uh, height width etc rotation range is um, randomly uh, rotate the image up to 20 degree in either direction and then zoom range is um, 0 0.15 um, zoom range is for randomly zoom in or out uh, up to 15 percentage and then with shift range and height shift range is for randomly shifted horizontally or vertically up to 20 percent of image size and then horizontal flips uh, this is for um, each image has a yeah, 50% of chance of being flipped horizontally. And then uh, fill mode is for uh, fill any empty pixel uh, using the nearest valid pixel. And then we, may, uh, we move to construct the head of model that will place on the top of the base model. Um, then and then we uh, load the pre-trained model. The pre-trained model is a mobile net V2 model. And then change the each input uh, uh, size, the image size into 224 into 224 RBG, RGB image. And then the, we perform, uh, and then we construct the head of model that will placed on the top of the base model. So uh, for this base model, uh, construction we perform some uh, some uh, calculation that are average polling flat and dense and drop out uh, average polling 2d they perform some convert the seven cross seven polling into um, one cross one one uh, thousand two eighty things are and then flat and is uh, used to convert the one cross one cross uh, 1,000 to 80 tensor to 1D vector and then then used to add fully connector layers and then a dropout is used to randomly uh, drop 50% of the unit in the previous layer uh, and then it uh, used to uh, reduce, uh, reduce the overfitting and then compile our models And then the next step is compile our model. Compile our model on uh, this problem. Uh, this is same binary classification problem. So I used a binary cross. So I used binary cross entropy laws. Uh, and then I used a SDD optimizer. That means a stochastic gradient descent optimizer. It is used to update the model parameter during the training to minimize the loss function and then the find the accuracy of the model using the matrix variable and then the next one is um, training head part in training head part uh, model dot fit uh, model that fit method uh, record various metrics during training and then including the loss and accuracy on both training and validation data uh, validation step is divided number on uh, this validation this one is based on the calculation on uh, this part step per epoch is uh, divide number of training set divided by um, batch size and we get a number of uh, epochs are uh, um, valid in this project and validation data uh, this is the this one is a uh, training and test set of output uh, one and then validation step. Validation step is given number of validation example by the batch size to determine how many step to use. And then epoch, epoch is this way number of epochs to train the model for. And then we go to the evaluation matrix. Uh, it, um, and then run it, it gives uh, how, 
nearly 20 a box for this project um you can see the loss or decreases and accuracy or increases. Uh, this is the most common step for this project because uh, the loss reduce and uh, accuracy increase. This is the uh, best model. Um, in our project uh, for every deep learning project, uh, the loss is reduced step by. Uh, comparing with uh, one epoch to another epoch uh, and the accuracy is um, increased comparing with uh, one epoch to another epoch. And then and then we move to the classification report. Uh, now uh, hmm, previously our model is created and then uh, we move to the classification report in this classification report we see precision recall and uh, accuracy in accuracy in this project gives 0 0.95 um and then we uh, our model is created so we uh, we save our model uh, using model dot save uh, we save this model helmet detector dot model name and then um uh, using matplot library plot the graph of loss and accuracy um to display that graph uh, uh the graph look like this okay these are all about uh, train helmet detector uh coding part uh, in next video we see about detect helmet uh, in video